Greetings adventures, it's Lauren Gaming and this is going to be a quick news video with maybe a little tiny rant at the very end. This is not the video, uh, the important video I was highlighting that's going to be coming out uh, possibly later tonight or tomorrow uh, now that I'm making this video to get some news in your face. But this is something that you don't normally see is my Discord window. But uh, the latter Wario results were announced uh, yesterday I believe and uh, we had some winners of pretty amazing prizes in my own familia. Uh, I just want to recognize these people in my familia. Church Ryu gives Ryu his best girl. A whole familia dedicated to praising Ryu. But first off, we have someone who won the first place prize, X Troopa from my familia. It's amazing to hear that someone in my familia got that awesome grand prize with the five assist tickets and the five adventure tickets and it's sort of 50 potatoes that adds up as well but that's crazy and then uh, quinoa as well got the second place prize that has uh one adventure ticket and one ex and assist chain exchange ticket so that's crazy that two people in my familia both got a first place prize or the second place prize that's amazing and please do not be suspicious of my relationship with crunchyroll my familia is just really fortunate to get uh two amazing prize winners as part of Slaughter of Ario. Uh, if I was in Cahoots or Crunchyroll, I definitely would have asked for a good prize myself. I myself won one fourth place prize and four fifth place prizes, and the rest of course were Valis, so nothing suspicious on my side of the realm. I'm just really happy for both Quinoa and X Troopa, but let's get on to the actual news, guys. So it actually looks like as part of a leak that was found on a Taiwanese form by uh, Tommy, uh, Nin's Orange Cat in the Technia Discord server. Uh, this is where this information is from, so thank you to, for Technia for getting the information to us. But it looks like we're actually going to be getting uh, Artemis, who is the goddess that appears in the Damachi Heir of the Orion movie, which will be airing in Japanese theaters on February 15th, and it's also going to be released by uh, Sentai Filmworks as well for a, for a theater run as well sometime after that initial Japanese release, so I'm excited for that, and even more excited at, at the fact that we're getting Artemis so soon. So it looks like uh, we may actually get her uh, on January 10th as part of a new gacha banner. We're not sure what the other characters on that banner are going to be because in this graphic we only have Artemis right now, but we also do know uh, what her maximum break stats and skills are, and I'll bring those up in a better picture right now and by the way that link to the Taiwanese forum post as well as a link to the Technia discord channel if you're interested will be in the description below but here is the graphic I made for the new adventurer Artemis she will be a balanced type character and you can see the maximum break stats right there as well uh, her strength being pretty good for a balanced type character her special arts is an AoE ultra light physical attack with an ultra penetration rate her first skill is an AoE high light physical attack with a temporary strength boost and an ultra penetration rate. Her second skill is a fast, low light physical attack and removes magic buffs, of course excluding assist skills. And her third skill is a 35% strength and 20% counter rate buff for four turns amongst all your allies. So it is looking like Artemis has a pretty decent moveset going on here. I do like how the first skill is an AoE high light physical attack with a temporary strength boost and also has that penetration rate uh, added into it as well. That means that first skill is going to be doing a bit more damage than you would usually see out of a balanced type character. And with skill 2, uh, it's cool that it's a, it's a fast attack. And it's also going to be helping any of you guys uh, in war games that are struggling against those magic teams. Especially with the uh, uprising of Winter Cream Lily, who is a very good healer. As well as being able to provide a 45% magic buff to the entire party. If you have Artemis in your party, that's going to help take off that magic buff. But do remember, because this is a fast attack, you're not going to get that buff off until the beginning of turn 2. And then our third skill is going to make you really useful for any teams with physical attackers in it, with that 35% strength boost, being able to increase your damage output. And then that 20% counter rate is going to help uh, you with any adventurers that have uh, benefits gained from actually countering, like uh, the Halloween bait does extra counter damage. And then you also have the New Year's Tiona uh, upon countering. She will actually increase the duration of buffs on your characters uh, by one turn. And because we are getting a trend of balanced type characters getting stuff added to their counter, like in their ability section, like if this unit counters, uh, this actually happens instead of a regular counter attack. We might see that for Artemis, we're not sure quite yet. We'll just have to find out 
uh, during her supposed release date on January 10th. And also on that day, we'll just have to see if we're getting any other characters in addition to Artemis or if this is just special, like a pre-release thing uh, a month before the movie actually comes out in Japan. We'll just have to see. But uh, I am excited to see what kind of event the movie would bring us, like if it's like a prologue to the movie, perhaps, or maybe an epilogue. That would make a lot more sense happening after the movie comes out. So maybe a prologue here. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens at the time of January 10th. So I am very, I'm looking very forward to that. And the last thing I wanted to go over in this video is almost like a PSA about the new Crimson Tempest Eyes. One of her skills is working a little weird. I don't think it's working as intended. But uh, as you can see here in her special arts, the Fleur Lil Rafaga. Uh, when it comes to the plus percent damage per target's magic resist reduction skill but this is really uh more focused around blast to pain because that is the move you will see the most especially in war games but let's just go over the text in blast to pain one more time bows so aoe high fire magic attack damage plus 50 percent per each target's magic resist reduction skill so when it says magic resist reduction skill what that implies is for every instance of magic resistance being reduced by a skill on your opponent, you will get an additional plus 50% damage added to this move. So that means uh, one from an assist like uh, Hermes or Demeter, and then one from an adventurer like Eyes herself or some other character like Elf's Otter and Lafia that can uh, debuff magic resistance. So that should mean a maximum of 100% uh, damage increase. However, that seems to not be the case. So this is getting a lot of attention on Reddit, as you can see here, New Year Eyes third skill uh, by Reddit user Iviolith. Uh, he's done some testing with Eyes' third skill, and it seems uh, she's not getting that uh, damage multiplier, not just uh, from magic resist reduction skills, but elemental ones as well, as you can see here. Uh, actually, another user uh, on the Reddit, blah, 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 uh, made a video about it, so that's a lot easier to show you guys, so let's do that here. As you can see uh, in the video right now, uh, he has a plus three eyes and with nothing here. So there's not going to be a single uh, modifier. It's just going to be normal damage, no modifier whatsoever. Skip to the part of the video where eyes does damage. So she's going to use Blast of Pain and we see about 2.2k damage. Uh, just no assist, no magic resist reduction whatsoever. And then later on in the video, he equips this uh, dark resistance reduction uh, bell assist so if you go by the text of eyes's skill that should not do anything because it's not a magic resist reduction skill but as we can see here the second that eyes will use blast the pain she does about 3.4k damage so she's actually getting benefit uh, from an elemental resist reduction skill and i that has to be above because that doesn't make any sense and then here, here's some more pictures right here. I'll leave you guys links in the description so you can see that for yourself as well. But if we go back into the game, you see right here again, Blast of Pain. Each target's magic resist reduction skill not, not doesn't have anything about elements whatsoever. And then uh, to clarify that this is probably a bug because maybe they've just forgot to mention its elements too. Well, that, that can't be the case because in the news, right here in the news section they actually like detailed uh the eyes skill blast to pain and for the Rafaga right before the gotcha came out so people understood how the skill worked and right here it says they like reiterate the fact that it's magic resist reduction skills and how it works so i it's so hard to believe that this is the intended effect and it's just crazy because that just makes eyes so overpowered i don't know if you've seen eyes uh, in war games quite yet but it's just it's insane it's ridiculous i've seen a picture on reddit about her critting for 13k damage that's not that's not right like the most benefit you should be able to get with blast of pain is 100 from getting an adventurer magic resist reduction skill and an assist magic resist reduction skill and that's it elements should not work on that and uh, i've been checking malfunction page like every hour to see if they like acknowledge that and we haven't seen an acknowledgement quite yet but i hope we do get one soon because i oh it, it just annoys me guys because uh, there are some people like uh, rolling right now for eyes with this knowledge even though this is probably not the intended effect that eyes is supposed to have and then there might be some angry people 
uh, later on when they change it back. Hopefully they change it back because, I, like I said before, this probably is not the intended effect. But there, they, there will be some people rolling four eyes uh, thinking that's how she works. And then they might be mad when uh, her damage is lowered as a result of that. But then again, because the uh, text itself, her skill description itself, doesn't lead you to think that she's going to be doing, doing any more damage than uh, what you would think. Because this was only discovered when people started experimenting and noticing something weird with the elements. So... If there is compensation that's going to be awarded to players who, who like uh, drew on the banner, I don't think it's going to be anything too substantial because you're getting basically more bang for your buck here. Like you, you had no idea that Eyes was going to be that good because the way her skill is worded does not lead you to believe that. So it's not like they're misleading people and they're getting an inferior product. It's just that because people found this bug, that might inspire some other people to go into eyes even though that's not how she's supposed to be intended uh to work so that's just a heads up for you guys look out for eyes i'd be very careful if you still have not uh, decided to pull on her yet don't pull on it quite yet if you're still undecided because right now we're just waiting for a confirmation on whether or not this skill is working properly and i really don't think it is and then if they keep it this way i'm gonna be I'm going to be pretty angry because there's eyes is just ridiculous right now if if this is how it's going to work because it also stacks multiple elements as well so if you have like a a dark element resist reduction and a thunder element resist reduction that all stacks together and then that's way more than in, than the intended maximum of 100 percent just just two modifiers with the magic reduction adventure skill and then the assist skill it's just it's just too much for me guys so hopefully that gets changed i know i've been talking about this probably for like five minutes but oh it, it just frustrates me but hopefully that gets fixed soon but as i alluded to in my previous video i do have a very important channel update for you guys but that's going to be addressed in the video that comes out after this one it was intended to be this video but news popped up but be on the lookout for that i'm not sure if i'm gonna have time to record tonight or not we'll just have to see but expect another video besides this one to be uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it informative, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. If you want to follow up on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. And as always, continue enjoying your time venturing in Rario and the Dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming and I'm signing out. <laughs> Oh,